Hello, hello, Mordimer is here and welcome to one of the most shocking games in the chess history, but maybe not so shocking uh, once we know the story behind this. So the game was played in 1988 between Alonso Zapata. Alonso Zapata uh, is the Colombian uh, grandmaster. He was 30 years old at that time and his ranking was uh, 2480 and he's gonna play as white and his opponent future world champion Vishwanathan Anand and he was only 18 years old at that time however um, his ranking 2555 and he also represented India and he was playing as black now uh, a little background this was the tournament in Biel in Switzerland and uh, that was tournament B and Zapata won that tournament so definitely uh, the strongest players over there and Vish Vishy Anand was fifth. So this is what we know. So definitely strong uh, player. Uh, and without further ado, let's see what happened on the board and why it is so shocking. So Zapata opened with e4. We have e5 by Anand, knight on f3 and knight f6. So Petrov's defense. Uh, and okay, pretty standard stuff here. Knight on e5, we have d6 kicking the knight, knight f3, knight e4 and here the most popular move for white is d4 d4 grabbing the center you know controlling the center making some space for the for the bishop to develop a uh, very strong move queen on e2 this is also possible pinning the the knight now d3 would be the threat uh, but after queen on e7 everything is fine d3 knight on f6 and we have completely uh, boring and symmetrical position which is you know the the players should just uh, sign a draw and you know end the game uh, however here Alonso Zapata played knight on c3 uh, another variation which actually forced black to take the knight and make this pawn structure a little bit messed and uh, and then would be asymmetrical so uh, more possibilities to play knight on f6 is also possible here uh, and we would have again a very very symmetrical position uh, so knight on c3 would look probably like d takes on c3 uh, and after bishop on e7 bishop e3 white can castle on the queen side black can uh, choose what they gonna do uh, and the position is a little bit more dynamic uh, however in this position after knight on c3 vishwanathan anand play bishop on f5 so he defends the knight uh, and what is the problem with this move uh, it looks like there is no problem because just one year earlier it was played between two grandmasters so Anthony Miles uh, played against Larry Christiansen and they and the, and the players just draw okay this was after a knight on e4 bishop on e4 d3 bishop on g6 the players just play a couple of more moves exchange the the pieces and it was a draw Moreover, this game appeared in the chess magazine as a, uh, as a novelty, okay? So bishop f5 was considered as a novelty, not check yet, and it was just one year before. It was not tested yet, and Vishwanathan Anand, there is a theory that he wanted to play that novelty and see what is gonna happen. However, in the interview, he said that he was not aware of that, of that game, and he didn't know that game, and he just played that he thought okay this is a good move however the problem is in this position uh, Alonso Zapata uh, played the move uh, after which Vishwanathan Anand resigned the game so feel free to pause the video and find the continuation for white while I enjoy my cup of tea okay ready not very difficult, I showed that move already, but it didn't work at that time. A uh, queen on e2 was played, and here uh, Vichy Anand just resigned the game. What happened? What is the difference? Of course, uh, d5, d3, and the knight is lost, so it's impossible. The problem is, after queen on e7, white actually has one extra move. Now, knight can go to d5. 
before when I show you the knight stayed on b1. So that's a huge difference. Knight d5. And now the queen is under attack. If queen moves, then of course we have d3 and the knight is lost. And if queen tries to stay on, the, uh, on this open line, it's not even possible because uh, e5 is controlled by the knight and after a uh, queen on e6 we're gonna have a family fork uh, attacking the uh, king and the queen and the rook uh, so uh, that's of course uh, losing so this is why uh, after queen on e2 uh, Vichy Anand resigned the game but what do we can learn from that because there are no lost games there are only wins or the lessons okay so this was definitely one of the best lesson in Vichy Anand life so he didn't resign from the chess he was only 18 years old he could resign after losing in six moves but he didn't resign he became the world champion that's a quite a respectable achievement, uh, let's say. And also he became one of the best experts uh, in the new lines uh, in the openings, okay? So just a couple of days ago, he won against Jan Nepomniasi uh, in the Jan's favorites uh, Greenfield defense. That's uh, also achievement, you know, that was, I think, 17 moves and, and he kept this line for, for 10 years uh, and he just, he just won. That was incredible. So uh, this was definitely a great lesson and uh, Anand uh, became, you know, world champion and one of the best experts in the, in the openings nowadays. Uh, even he is already 50 years old. Great career. Uh, even he lost when he was 18 years old. And if you like this attitude of Anand. Uh, if you like this lesson, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. And if you don't want to miss any other stories like this and the games like this, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.